What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how to read defenses, specifically talking about cover three, okay? So this is going to be a great video for you guys, give you guys a lot of value on just kind of the IQ side of things, especially from the quarterback position and even the receiver position. So I hope this video helps you guys out, but also, fellas, if you guys want access to 250-plus videos, over 12 hours of content, all based on reading defenses on my website, check out that very first link in the description. This video is going to be a great preview of what's to come on my website, so if you guys want more information, on what we have to offer 250 plus videos 12 hours of content four new videos every single week all based on reading defenses check out that very first link in the description hope we get you guys on that website soon if you guys are a little bit more confused on just what we have to offer or maybe a little bit concerned about it check out this video hope this video gives you some value and some insight on what we got to offer again very first link in the description let's get started so again we're going to be going up against this cover three defense here so the concept is we're going to be looking at this route from the Kansas City Chiefs with this play from the Chiefs we got this fade from the outside number one we got got like an inside release like 10 to 12 yard out we got a flat route from the running back off a play action fake then we got a backside dig so we're going to be kind of looking at this like three-part read where we're going from out to flat to dig and then we're kind of peeking this fade over the top so let's watch it full speed we want to be focusing on kelsey in the slot here catching this like 12 yard out so let's watch it full speed so play action fake goes to the inside and he breaks off on this 12 yard out now we end up hitting this ball to kelsey because these two backers end up driving with the flat but we're going to talk about what happens if they don't what happens if they back up what happens if they do crash, where, where do we go with this ball? Okay, so now let's talk about this. So pre-snap, right? So pre-snap process. This is something that we talk a lot about on my website. So again, there's going to be more content on that, especially on that site. But we identify pre-snap. I go we want to go from safeties, corners to the box, right? So now I see that there's one high safety. So that can mean a couple different things. Could be man coverage, right? Could be this cover three concept that we're talking about. So cover three probably looks like cover three because what are the corners doing? Both facing the quarterback, both look like they're going to be bailing out. So cover three is kind of that deep thirds concept, right? Everybody's got that deep third. Now, what about the men in the box, right? Looks kind of like a 4-4 situation. You might not consider this guy in the box, so it could really be maybe like 4-3, I guess you could say, but let's call it 4-4 right now. Let's call it 4-4 for the sake of this, just to make it a little bit easier. So this looks like the strong safety rolled down, obviously, because it's to the strength of the formation. So usually what he has, there are many different types of cover three. Like I said, we talk more about that on the site, but this is like cover three where this safety, and there's a specific name for it, but where this safety is reading hook to curl, or flats, excuse me. He's in charge of the flats. Then this outside backer, the Sam, has got hook to curl. This is the mic. You always want to make sure that you identify the mic backer because that makes it a lot easier to identify the coverage. He's got this middle hook to curl kind of like to the right, and then he's got the flats to the backside, this will backer. Okay, so it's a 4-4 four, four, cover three. Pretty basic look to look at here. So now let's talk about the play concept. So we got a fade, we got a 10-yard out, and then we got a flat, and then we got a backside dig. So these are the three things that we want to kind of focus on right here. So when when we go here, we start the play concept. Now, Kelsey's taking this inside release. This flat route is what I want to go to. This 12 yard out, that's kind of, this is my read key defender is this um, strong safety, right? So we know that strong safety, what's he in charge of? The flats. So if he sits on this flat route, I could just take this out route nice and easy unless this corner jumps it, okay? So let's say this outside backer sits on this flat route, which is something that he does. I could just hit this throw right now and get it to Kelsey, no problem, okay? So that's exactly what we do. Mahomes anticipates this throw, sees that that um, linebacker drops down. We got Kelsey and we got a huge, huge window to make this throw and then I just dump it straight off to him that's a great job there reading that defense now let's talk about what could screw that up so let's say this linebacker jumps it 12 yard out but let's say Sherman gets a little bit greedy and tries to jump this out route I could just put this thing right on that hole shot or if that safety's coming over the top I could drop it in the bucket way over the top of him and take this deep shot downfield if Sherman tries to jump this thing right so if that safety's way deep this receiver maybe he starts maybe he's smart and kind of settles when he sees Sherman jump this thing kind of settles in that window if you're on the same page with your quarterback and you could get it to him so there are a lot of different things that could happen now let's go over maybe another scenario right so let's say that he ends up backing up Right. Let's say that this outside back, or let's say that this strong safety ends up backing up, but this um will or this Sam backer drives on the flat. What do we have? We have this dig backside in that second window. Or what Kelsey could do is rather than just running this thing and getting covered by this strong safety, he could just hook up right here and sit in that window between the coverage because that Sam backer is driving on that. He could just sit right in that window and bam. And then if this Mike wants to jump over there and cover him, I got this dig backside. So I could go from here. I could peek this out. I or I could. We don't really 
really necessarily want to be looking at your guys. You want to be looking at the defenders, right? You want to be going through your coverage reads. So we see that he backs up. Okay, I maybe get my eyes to here. He drives on that. Kelsey could just hook it up right here. Maybe this Mike Backer shoots over. I just get my eyes right back to this other window. I go from one to two to three backside. That's how you have to play this thing. That's how you have to go through your reads. And the whole time, tying your feet to your eyes. It's got to happen quick. We don't want to be a one-dimensional guy and a one-dimensional quarterback where we only stick to one read. And if it's not there, we just go dark and take off and run. Okay, so I hope this video gave you guys some value. Let's watch this thing again full speed one more time. So again, we see that linebacker or that strong safety drops down. Excuse me, strong safety drops down on the flat. I got that out route. Let's take this shot over the middle. Linebacker shoots out. I mean, the strong, the Sam backer, strong safety backs up. I just hit that Kelsey window. Or if that Mike takes it away, then I work my eyes back to the dig. I'm working right to left on this type of play concept. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, if you guys want to learn how to read defenses, 250 plus videos, guys, over 12 hours of content, all based on reading defenses, all the coverages you can think of, all the play concepts, RPOs, zone reads, everything based around the IQ of playing quarterback and the IQ of playing receiver, all the IQ things of the offensive side of the game. Check out that very first link in the description. Again, over 12 hours of content. I hope we get you guys on that soon. If you guys have any questions about that or any questions on this video, please leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys next time.